guys uh, welcome to tech design in this video we will be having a look at uh, sketcher environment once again into the sketcher example please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, share my videos even like my videos to support me so uh, in this video we will be uh, showing you how we can make uh, this uh, sketcher environment uh, since too many people are requesting me for uh, making a sketcher example so uh, i thought of doing one more uh, video on sketcher so this is uh, the one which i am taken as a example so here i have just opened uh, nx and i'll just create a new file and go to model Hit ok if you want uh, the basic steps all these how we can open the file and all those things will be available in my playlist so just go to my channel and uh, check it out okay this is how it opens uh, so this is a coordinate system and uh, we can go to sketcher environment so please sketch and then select a plane on which you want to make a sketch so i just selected uh, xy plane so this is what we have uh, uh, a sketcher environment uh, regarding these all commands we have already discussed and now I am going to uh, do sketch on this uh, particular example. You can see here um, there are a lot of uh, circ circles here with uh, too many diameters. You can see here 250 diameter, one diam one um, uh, a circle, and as well as here one more with a 150 and uh, 200. So quickly, what I will do is I will just um, uh, <coughs> draw these. So let's go to circle and uh, we can see here this is by center. So I'll uh, select my center and uh, I'll give my sorry, I'll give my radius or diameter as uh, 250. You can see 250. Okay. So one circle is generated and you want uh, one more circle like for uh, 200. So I will draw this 200 as well as this 150 and any other circles. Okay, no. Okay, so now 200. So define the center. And this is the center of the arc and 150. Okay. So just close this window. Sorry guys, there is some construction going on near my house, so there may be a disturbances for you. You can see here uh, we have 250 and 200 and 150 circles. So what we have to do is uh, there is 250 uh, circle is as it is. We don't need to change it. And as you can see here, 200 circle is um, it is a dashed line. So it is just for a reference. So just for a reference. So what I will do is um, I will make uh, these cutouts. As you can see here, up to this it is a 200 diameter and as well as here it is a 10 radius so totally it is 100 mm radius as well as 10 mm so 110 mm radius so what i will do is i will just um, make half circle so let us make half circle uh, not even half the 60 diameter 60 uh, distance so we'll make um, 110 and 90 two diameters two arcs sorry so we'll take the arc and from here around 110 from 110 i will draw like this as well as from uh, 90 so from 90 i will draw again so i will just switch off this uh, auto dimension every time it uh, makes me okay continuous auto dimension okay as you can see here mm, now the arc is already uh, we have got the this two arcs and uh, just make um, sure that there should be an uh, one more arc with a radius of 10 so i'll draw that and that center should lie on 
this point as you can see here in the center point so i will just switch up this and just allow it to center and we'll make a radius as 10 fixed and we'll draw the arc and the similar way i will do it one more time on the other side okay and 10 is the radius so from this point to this point don't worry if it is not a if it is not selecting properly uh, we will just constrain it with our uh, constraint toolbar you can see here we can just press s and c and you have a geometric constraint window and i will give uh, i'll give this as uh, so it is uh, already over constrained because of this uh, radius just delete this radius as well as this one so that we can have a clear picture on that and also i'll just give a constraint for this as well and here also it will show over constraint don't need to worry just uh, add this we'll just delete okay now what we can do is we will give the distance uh, i think these are not aligned so to align these um, go to extend make corner and select this as well as this to we'll trim so similar way you can do it on all the sides so now i'll give the distance you can see here the distance is 60 so i'll give the 60 as my linear dimension from this point to this point it is so 60 and as you can see here uh, this uh, this is actually symmetric to the both uh, this x axis so i'll make a symmetric so I'll go here and uh, select make symmetric and select this point this point as well as this point and make symmetric to this so it is now symmetric to uh, the x axis I'll just uh, this circle is not required. I will just make it as a con uh, reference line. So I'll just make it reference. So uh, you can see here the same structure, the same sketch is patterned all four sides. So you can make it by using a mirror option by having this reference as a 45 degree angle a line, as, uh, or else you can make it with a circular pattern the circular pattern because uh, for mirror it takes uh, time so what i will do is i will select um, pattern this is the pattern curve so all these commands are uh, already defined uh, in my tutorial so I'll select a curve so which curve you want to make a pattern so this curve specify a point so from this point it should rotate so how many instances you need four instances so span is click ok you can have all four at a time so this is how we can uh, complete with uh, the outer shell so inside you can see here uh, this is 150 diameter uh, circle on this some uh, extra cutout is there so we will show you how um, we can make it so this already the circle is made and now we will uh, make an uh, line that is from 45 degree so take an angle and define angle for this as 45 okay and uh, close this so you want the extended portion here so you can make an extend for extend click e and uh, select this and select this select this it will extend you can trim with e command so I'll just make this as a reference. So now I want one more uh, line here, which is passing through this. Uh, you can have a uh, multiple options to make uh, these time type of uh, sketching. So I will do one more thing now. Uh, I'll just uh, draw a line, and uh, as you can see, oh, 
Okay, one more minute. I will just try it one more time. Drown it. So now um, I'll just make con con constraint. So this line should be on this point. You can see here, and as well as this line should be perpendicular to this line. So that is done. Make it as a reference line. And if you want, you can print the extent portion. So we have got now uh, with uh, these two uh, lines. So what we can do is this uh, cutout we need now. So I will do one more thing. What is the radius for this? Uh, okay, uh, might be they have missed it. They have missed the dimension for this. Okay, okay. Let's assume this as some value. So what I will do is I will just uh, select this point and I will make this arc. You can see here I will make it as a 25 radius and uh, make it like this. So hope, make sure that this point lies on this circle as well as this point. So now it is lying on this circle. So we will make it lie on this reference line as well. So select this and center point and should lie on this line why it is over constrained okay okay so it has already autonomy mention is defined so it is showing over constraint now what you can do is uh, this is already constrained with this line and this is not constrained so press e and extend this to next point as you can see here again uh, this can be uh, mirrored with uh, this center line y axis as, as well as you can pattern it so i prefer to have pattern so let's make a pattern of this group the specify the point this point you can see here 4 and 360 which is given by earlier uh, sketch so it is taken by default click ok so now we can trim the extended portion here so you can see here this can be trimmed so this is how it looks like and uh, now we have completed the sketcher uh, tutorial you can see here everything is defined and if you exit the sketch sorry exit the sketch this is what our uh, sketch example hope you guys uh, enjoyed please subscribe to my channel and uh, like my videos thank you